In Chapter 5 of Great Expectations, the sergeant in charge of the soldiers at the door asks Joe if he could repair handcuffs, then explains they are tracking down two escaped convicts. Pip feels relief that they have not come for him. The working class sergeant, Joe, and Mrs. Joe, along with their middle class Christmas guests, view the capture of the convicts as a game, like an entertaining type of fox hunt. After Joe, who's the town blacksmith, finishes repairing the handcuffs, he proposes to his Christmas guests that they should go <laughs> along on the hunt for the convicts. Mr. Wopsle agrees, but the other guests decline. Joe, Pip, and Mr. Wopsle follow the soldiers into the marsh. Pip worries that his convict will identify him if they should meet. The soldiers hurry through the marsh with Mr. Wopsle and Joe carrying Pip on his back running after them. Moving toward the battery, the soldiers come upon two convicts loudly fighting in the mud. The soldiers separate them and Pip recognizes his convict. The other is the man with the bruised left cheek. Pip's convict expresses satisfaction that he prevented the other convict from escaping. The other convict accuses Pip's convict of trying to murder him. Pip's convict looks at Pip for a moment. Pip lightly shakes his head, trying to convey that he's not an informer, unsure if his convict understands. The soldiers take the two prisoners to a hut by the sea, followed by Joe, Pip, and Mr. Wopsle. Unexpectedly, Pip's convict claims he stole the food, including a pork pie, from a blacksmith in a nearby village, thereby letting Pip off the hook. Joe concurs that his wife noticed the pie was missing just as the soldiers arrived. The soldiers place the two convicts in a boat, which is then rowed out to a prison hulk. In Chapter 6 of Great Expectations, Pip feels compelled to tell Joe about his theft. But Pip fears that if he comes clean, Joe will always view him with suspicion and distrust. As a result, Pip decides not to reveal the truth. Exhausted, Pip naps in the kitchen. When he awakens, he overhears Joe describing the capture of the convict and Pumblechook theorizing on how the convict committed the theft. Mrs. Joe drags Pip to bed. Thank you.